Hello, Afflewax. Um, double departure for us today uh, because we are going to, well, first things first, we're going to uh, do uh, this for our new build, the Creator 3-in-1. We've never done one of these before. We've been talking about them for quite a while, though, it feels. Um, but my understanding of, of the 3-in-1 is, is that that's sort of the, the, the main set you build, but then you can take it apart and turn it into three different things. Uh, so we're going to do all three. Does that thrill you? Thrills me. Look at him. What a moustache. Um, let's have a look at the back of the box. So uh, we have... A uh, man with goatee up here, I mean, he clearly is a single man who lives on his own. Uh, we don't know why. Uh, I'm, I'm getting the feeling. Uh, divorced, recently divorced, maybe separated, maybe thrown out of the family home. That's, that's what I'm feeling about him. Um, old man with croissant. <laughs> Just old man with croissant. Uh, no idea what's going on here. Old man now staring at croissant with a bone in a bowl. Hmm. Interesting. Um, seems to be some sort of fruit stall here. Coffee, big coffee cup on the side there. Do some sort of dog that, that looks not terribly well. Hot dog, hat, that hot dog stand looks good. Um, and then I don't know what this is, but shall we get into it? Oh, look. Can you see here? Let me go in. Can you see this scenario? There's the, the, he's got a woman lying flat down. What, what's going on here? There was a croissant there earlier. Is he a murderer? <gasps> Let's get building. Mm. I can barely believe it, given the, the usual size of bags that we have to deal with. Um, but here we go, that's uh, bag one. There are six bags, you'll be pleased to know. Uh, but let us begin with the usual ceremonial opening of the instruction booklet. Thank you. Thank you. Revered hush, please. Thank you. Anyway, there we are, new booklet. Thank you. Thank you. I am genuinely astonished at the size of this. And of course, it's got, it's 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 got instructions for three. <laughs> second departure uh, in normal Apple work business is that normally when we start a new build, by the way I'm doing a minifigure, um, we, 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 up till now we've, we've never done the club business of the last day of the previous build, um, but following a, a, an impassioned plea from Little Sue, hello it's me Little Sue, yes we'll get to you later, um, I've changed my mind, so we will, uh, from now on, uh, have last day of last builds club business on first day of uh, new build. 
club business. Uh, I think that deserves a round of applause. I can hear you all cheering. Cheering. So I think we've established uh, that, uh, I, I think we can say that's a chat, unless, I mean, it, unless you want to tell me otherwise, but, but I think a goatee signifies uh, a chap, or it could be uh, a woman who's just a very dirty eater of chocolate. Um, I'll let you decide. So it's either a man who has been thrown out of the, uh, the matrimonial home by his wife who is furious with him for some reason you, you can tell me why or it's a dirty 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 woman who can't eat chocolate properly um, you can suggest names thank you so uh, Gary Blair now yesterday I brought up the uh, the issue I think I'm going to go in actually um, I brought up the issue of the weird thing that happens on my uh, table when I'm doing the knoll and the fact that little pieces sort of seem to take on a life of their own. Now there are magnets underneath this table but uh, as pretty much everybody has pointed out to me um, there goes plastic. It, it, the magnets should have no effect on it whatsoever. Well, no, I agree with you, um, but it happened again today. And it's not just with the, the cylindrical pieces. If I just show you over here, like the, 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 this, this tile didn't want to... Look, look, can you see that? It's like slight... Res What's going on there? What's going on? Anyway, Gary Blair, as he often does, uh, has a theory. And he, he says, hey, that's not magnetism. That's poltergeistism. Get out of the shed now. Well, I can't get out of the shed, uh, Gary Blair, because if I did, there would be no relaxer with Lego. Plus, it's not a poltergeist. Cut to, it is a poltergeist. Cut to, it is. Enjoying the, the the polite nature of the knoll today, aren't you? We're so used to enormous ones that span pretty much both tables. It's quite something to be to have a little bit of space. Pretty roomy. It's a roomy knoll. Thunder roads, thunder roads, thunder roads fights crime with Charlie Chops who fights crime with her face hair. Thunder roads has shot her. They fight crime. Uh, Thunder Rhodes, she says, uh, I have to admit, I'm not sure what I'm here for anymore now. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, Thunder Rhodes, Ex excuse me, what, what? Oh, no, she's being nice. Here it comes. Gary Blair's justifiable meltdowns. Uh, let me stop you there. Let me, <laughs> let me stop you there. Oh, that's getting a bit dirty. Let me, let me stop you there, please, Thunder Roads. Let me stop you there. Justifiable meltdowns. Hmm. I think that might have to be a slight blot in your cottage copybook. Just, I, excuse, I mean, Gary Blair, justifiable meltdowns, please. Please. Um... She goes on, the pink lady's very erotic level <laughs> of architectural knowledge. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to dispute that. <laughs> I don't think anyone's going to dispute that. Um, little Sue's alleged voice. Alleged? Alleged? There's no alleged about it. That's exactly how little Sue speaks. Yes, it is. This is how I speak. It's exactly how I speak. I don't speak in any other way. Yes, we know. Uh, talk about serendipitous comedy content. She says, oh, thank you very much. It's too kind. No, nope. too kind, too kind, too kind, too kind. Um, wild Renaissance. Our French madam. Well, she's not, she, she's the French madam. Who's not a French madam? She's not even French. She comes from Birmingham. Old oh, Depp, she says. 
I've missed a few days. Oh. I mean, what else have you been doing? Don't, don't, don't come at me with your, I've missed a few days. Paul, Paul, Paul. She says, I've missed a few days. Is there going to be a Perks collaboration version two? Very excited by the prospect. Well, uh, the situation is that obviously uh, she was headed here. And uh, then coronavirus uh, went nuclear. So um, we might have to wait a bit now for uh, the Perkins collaboration, but uh, it will happen. She will be back. We will build again. So yes, that is going to happen. She says, I've, always, I've also missed why your table has magnets in the first place. Well, uh, I'm, I'm, I didn't actually make the table the, the table was bought from uh, from home base and uh, it, 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 it has got magnets underneath at least I think it does it, I, I'm not actually now I've said that I'm not actually 100% certain but but I, I think there are magnets I, I did seem to remember when we put it together there there was there was some sort of magnet style activity oh sorry there was some sort of magnet style activity that was going on. Um, so I think it's safe to assume that there are magnets. Anyway, um, then she says, I would suggest this strange rolling anom anomaly. Rolling anomaly. Your speak of is due to the cylindrical nature of the pieces and not that your shed operates outside the law of magnetics. Well, you say that. You say that, but it's not just cylindrical things it affects. It affects small tiles um, as well. It's very, very odd, and I can't explain it. I can't explain it. She then adds, um, I'm anticipating your subs to be about five million soon, as you will be the only creative still involved in filming. Buckle up. Can you do that many voices? No. No. No, I can't do that many voices. I can't do that many voices. I mean, it would be thrilling if we... If we it would be thrilling if we got up to... Um, a thousand subs. Because if that happens, I can do live broadcasting. Can you even imagine how much we would love that? Anyway, that can't happen until I get to a thousand subs. So, right, uh, I'm getting up Twitter business. Twitter business, Twitter business, Twitter business, Twitter business. Uh, ba -bum -bum -bum. Right, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Um, Mr. Graham Triggs, uh, the VAR, the official referee of Relax with Lego. He says, uh, the Batmobile isn't that technics. Some finickety bits, he tells me, but mostly it's building a structure on top of Technics, still less than even fairly small Technics sets. Well, I quite like it when Mr. Graham Triggs says Technics. Technics. I mean, something like the rough terrain crane would leave you in tears. Oh, he always manages to tell me off a little bit, doesn't he? But oh, the, the thrill is sharp whenever he does. Plus, I always deserve it. Technics. Mr. Graham Triggs loves Technics. I love Technics. We know you do. Uh, Bevis Musson, Uncle Strawberry. I'm not working from home yet, he says. Really? I thought you were a cartoonist. Have you actually got a proper job, Bevis? And he says, I'm, I was the only one in the office today. What, what office? What office is this that you speak of? I, I don't, I, I, I feel all, all perturbed that you work in an office. I, this, this was not what I was expecting, even remotely. 
going in means I can do stuff, he says, that means everyone else working from home can do their jobs more easily. But I suspect that won't be the case beyond Friday. No. No, we're all stuck indoors now. I mean, I'm always stuck indoors, but there it is. Uh, Georgie, Georgie Gibbon, er indoors. She looked at me quite forlornly this morning and said, um, I've got a meeting at three o'clock she's got like a video meeting of by video and then she said but that's it for the day and then she sort of looked like she didn't really know what to do with herself so this is the problem Pe people who aren't uh, who don't have stupid jobs like me they don't know what to do with themselves now hang on a minute because there are things that aren't quite the same here yes it's these two things Look, this is interesting. I don't think I've ever seen this before. So we've seen these before, but look, look, one of these things is not like the other one. One of these things is not like the other one. One of these things is not, oh, not like the other one. It's not like the others. Anyway, that thrilled me because I don't think we've had that piece before. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. It will be given the uh, appropriate fanfare. Look at this. This is nice, isn't it? Of course I've lost it. Of course I have. Oh, no. Oh, come on. Don't be a joker. Look what's happened. What, what a time for that to happen. Oh, let's, let's just... Uh, hang on. We'll just wait till it comes back. Hang on. I want you to know that I've just sat here with my arms folded for about seven to eight minutes. Anyway, uh, it's come back now. Uh, Bevis says, Bevis Uncle Musson, uh, says, you most certainly do have a cheer. We've had this whole discussion before. Hmm. Um, I'm not sure we do have a cheer. Let's have a, let's, let's have a look. I mean, we've got a... Got that. Got that. Got that. We've got applause. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh, that's awful. I pressed fax machine by mistake. Oh, little. Oh, World Renaissance will be furious. I'm telling you now, we haven't got a. We haven't got a cheer. We've got a whistle. I, this. This one's a bit brassy sounding, isn't it? Um, no, we haven't got a cheer, Bevis. We really haven't. We really haven't. Look, what's that? <coughs> I mean, that's not a cheer, is it? That's not a cheer. That's clearly applause. Um, uh, uh, that's not you know we haven't got a chair bevis what's that one oh no it's the screen i'm going <laughs> you've this is your fault bevis musson this is your fault i'm going to be told off by a lot of people because of the, that racket that was just made um now oh look so i don't know what you're talking about we haven't got a chair Oh, that's good. Isn't that good? That's good. Right, come out. Uh, Bevis is convinced it's ghosts. I'm convinced it's ghosts. Sorry. I'm totally convinced that this table is haunted. I d I'm not sure any of you are going to persuade me otherwise. This table is haunted, okay? So we just have to accept it. We just have to accept it. Um, this is, uh, Pex nearly killed you and herself last time, did she? So I will not retract the accusation. She won't cope with us all now. Hmm. 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 I mean, it might be fair. It might be a fair point. It might be a fair point. Um, then she said, then he says, uh, you had some of those say sass say look how do you pronounce that word 
uh, the three pointed knives in Destiny's Bounty. We did, yes. Uh, in in gold, I do believe. Bevis, gold. They came in gold. Um, and very nice they were too, I must say. Uh, Bevis enjoyed it. He says this is a tremendous build. Uh, but very much agree that it's a brilliant exterior with an oddly sparse interior. Yes, uh, I think we've all reached that conclusion. Hence the uh, 7 out of 10 uh, that it got, quite frankly. Um, Bevis has zero issue with the freestanding elements on the set, as long as they look good. He's fine with it. Superb spotlights. Yes, they were very good. Um, and then Gary Blair comes in uh, and points out that they're not spotlights. They're super troopers. I, I have to confess, I didn't know they were called super troopers. Is, is that really what they're called? Super Troopers, those big lights that, that we did. And then Bevis says, yes, more than likely, although I think that's a specific brand name, isn't it? And then Gary Blair says, no, they're Kleegs. Super Troopers are follow spots. Well, I mean, who knew that there was this wealth of knowledge amongst the Afawak gang for serious? This is what I love about you all. What, whenever there's a query, one of you pops up with the answer. It's quite tremendous. Do, 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 do. Can you see what I'm doing? Let's move it up. There. Do, 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 do. I can't wait for us to work out whether this is a, a man who's been thrown out of the house or, or we're a woman uh, who eats chocolate dirtily. <laughs> I can't actually wait. For, for that decision to be made. <laughs> really, really genuinely cannot. Uh, Mr. Graham Triggs uh, is giving something of an adjudication, so uh, let's uh, announce that. Adjudication uh, from uh, Mr. Graham Triggs. He says, I'm with you on freestanding elements. I do not like having things sitting loose. No, I mean, I, this, this doesn't come as any surprise. However, there's always a however with Mr. Graham Triggs. I would say that in this instance, they are somewhat appropriate as those freestanding rope barriers rather than a permanently sighted fence. Hmm, I think that's fair. I think that's a fair comment. Pink Lady, uh, of course, has uh, things to say on this as our resident architectural historian. And she says, agreed, Mr. Va. I'm sure the planning department of Modular Town would have something to say about those massive searchlights if they were permanently sighted on the pavement too. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Bevis Musters and Uncle Strawberry says, as long as freestanding elements are stable, and look good. He's fine with them. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, hang on. Here she comes. <laughs> little Sue. Here comes little Sue. She's little. And she's called Sue. It's little Sue. Hey, who who told you to get the tweezers, forceps? Who, who told you to get the, the, the tweezers? It was me, Little Sue. Oh, I remember now, Little Sue. Yes. I remember. It was you, wasn't it? Yes, it was me. We can't have it going without you being acknowledged for being the person who told me to get the tweezers. <coughs> <laughs> I mean, they're the longest tweezers in the world. Still coming. Still coming. There's still more. Thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you. Yes, it was you, little Sue. Yes, it was. It was me who told you to get him. Yeah, and a very good idea it was too. And it's, it's changed everything for the better, hasn't it? Yes. Well done. Pink Lady, I always work from home on desk days anyway, so not much change for me so far. Site visits are off the cards though, so it will be very useful keeping my hand in with Lego buildings whilst I'm away from real ones. Downside, husband now also WH, WAH, is working at home. So all biscuits must be shared. How awful for you, uh, Pink Lady. I, I, I really can't, really can't apologise enough. I mean, I know I don't, I don't have to apologise, but solidarity, solidarity with you, Pink Lady. Solidarity. Although I have nothing against the suggestion by nondescript hum, I said hum, <coughs> of a superhero emporium. I can't help but think how packed with detail a Harry Potter themed emporium would be. Suitably magical. Well, I have news on this, of course, because we that this is going to be, uh, I, I'm going to do this as the next build, um, the grand emporium, but we're going to do it as a, as a free build and it's going to be the grander emporium. So what I'm going to do, um, while we're doing this current build is I will see what what pieces I have here already and what pieces I have to get and start amassing things uh, before we build them now we have got we have got some thoughts from uh, pink lady on yesterday's build so hang on and I'll go and get it so here we go thoughts from an architectural historian, part one. This is a superb art deco edifice with much to surprise and delight. The pyramidal roof with its spectacularly steep pitch crowns, the composition with a suitably dramatic feature. The spiky finials, spiky finials, spiky finials, spiky finials at the corners of the roof and on the upturned arch are very RKO radio pictures in inspiration, thus perfectly suited to their purpose. The colourful corner sign the colourful corner sign and illuminated billboard are incredibly stylish. A glorious building. Mm. Oh, thank you, Pink Lady. Thank you. Thank you, Pink Lady. Uh, now, we're not quite finished because, of course, she deals with notes and queries. Mr. Graham Triggs and I sorted out the senses query about the door hatch to the roof yesterday. Remember the, the door hatch in the roof? A screenshot of our exchange is attached and Senor Gary Blair is indeed correct that corbels is pronounced corbels. But I couldn't bear to correct you. Oh, please do correct me. Please do. Now, uh, here is uh, the, the notes and the query. So Mr. Graham Trigg said horizontal hatches would tend to be smaller in real life as it would take considerable effort to open at that size. You might find a full-size door vertically or possibly at an angle. This is all about this bit. This is all about this bit, remember? The door. Uh, or possibly at an angle fixed to a structure protruding beyond the roof. But I guess there are certain limitations in Lego. Uh, to which Miss, uh, Pink Lady says, Mr. Graham Triggs has answered your question admirably, Sensei. A plain hatch onto a flat roof would be the norm, although I have seen adapted roof lights too, and occasionally jerry-rigged solutions using part or whole doors within a structure rising above the plane 
of the wolf. So there we go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you. That's excellent. And these, of course, uh, are the super troopers. Super troopers. Uh, right, we shall get back to today's build. Now, uh, <coughs> you may recall that uh, yesterday at the, uh, on the advice of the VAR, Mr. Graham Triggs, hang on a minute, hang on a minute, hang on a minute, right, that's correct, and that's correct, okay, panic over, welcome to my panic, Thanks for coming, thanks for coming to my panic. Thank you. That was a short one. Short and sweet, but you know, it was still a panic nevertheless. Uh, little Sue uh, has made a very good point. Yesterday, uh, at the advice of the VAR, uh, Mr. Graham Triggs, um, who asked for all minifigures to be removed immediately for their own safety from uh, the cinema. That was done, that was done, that was done. Little Sue uh, has said, I, I think we need some social distancing on top of the containers too. <laughs> this is a problem. It's a problem, Little Sue. I, I'm, not, I, I'm not gonna disagree with you. I'm really worried they're all standing too close together. I'll see what I can do for you, little Sue. Okay? I'll see what I can do. Everything, thank you. It's traditionally on. Now this, now, this is why we're doing this, okay? Th this is why I, I've changed the rules because of this message. Tradi traditionally, she says, on bag one of new builds, there is no club business. I think we all feel sad about this. Oh, little Sue. <laughs> oh, little Sue, I can't bear it. I think we all feel sad about this. I, I wonder if business from the last part of the last bag on the last build could be discussed during bag one of the next build. Yes. Yes, it can. Yes, it can. Ruth Hayes was straight in. Great suggestion, little Sue, she says. Well, it's happened. It's happened. As is always the way. Uh, the Afflewax ask, and I shall provide. That's how we work. Now, I wonder if that's correct. I think it is. I think it is. Tanya, now she says, how, how did I get into trouble by agreeing I couldn't deal with the Batmobile either? To be honest, uh, Tanya, now I think I misunderstood what you were saying. I think a plane didn't get it. She says, it's incredible, but no, I couldn't do it or watch anyone else do it come to that. I do love portrait art. Artist of the Year, though. Also, Pottery Throwdown. Love it. Mm, yeah, very relaxing. Jackie Swan. Now, we know she hates a noise. She absolutely loathes a noise. And she says, three sound effect machines and no cheer. Better get another one. <laughs> Excuse me, Jackie Swan? You, you, hate, a, you hate a, a sound effect. What? What's going on here? Ruth Hayes, well, I think that was a really lovely build. Mm. I think it came good in the end. That's my feeling on it. Um, I know the, the beige brown exterior was getting on some Afflewax nerves, but I think in the end it served its purpose as a contrast to the glorious colorful roof and signage. Mm. I think that's a reasonable, yeah, I think that's reasonable. I would have loved some green neon though. Oh, that would have been good. Yes, that would have been really, really excellent. 
I would also have loved this. This is an interesting colour. We have had it, we have had it before, sort of clay. But it is nice, better than boring old brown. Uh, now, I don't think we've ever had this particular piece before, so I'm giving it a, I'm giving it a swip swoo. Never had one of those. Neat. Rather nice. Charlie Chops, she fights crime with her face hair. Charlie Chops, facing crime with her face. Um, Charlie Chops. Hello, Charlie Chops. So it seems like the older sets were mainly about the buildings and the insides were kept basic. I personally love all the little hidden things you get in the newer ones, like the biscuits in the safe or the dildo in the drawer. Great finish to this one though. If you're new to this channel and have, are literally just sort of suddenly spitting out tea, uh, saying, sorry, what? D sorry, dildo in a drawer? Sorry, what? Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, th there was an incident. Yeah, when we were building Assembly Square. And let's just say something, I mean, we don't know if it was a dildo, but um, something suspiciously like one was uh, slipped into uh, the drawer of the dentist. Mm. 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 Yeah, so anyway, Jackie Swan then came in and said, that's, that's just what I need now. I'm a woman of a certain age, social distancing. Uh, sorry, I'll say that again. She says, that's just what I need. Now I'm a woman of a certain age, social distancing, biscuits and a dildo. Jackie, Jackie Swan, <laughs> Jackie Swan. <laughs> oh, Jackie Swan, what on earth? What on earth, good grief. I'm shocked to my actual bones. Oh, <laughs> completely, completely shocked. I'm shocked, I tell you. I'm shocked, absolutely shocked. Um, <clears throat> she sees, uh, uh, Jackie Swan, she says, I've just watched episode 33. That's the one with Sue Perkins. That's when she came to do the, uh, the guest build. Uh, can someone please remove the sound effects machines? Before perks doesn't have the guest build. <laughs> well, yeah, she did. <laughs> the, the, it, it was chaotic. It was absolutely chaotic. That build. Like, this is the problem. Once someone gets their hands on a sound effect machine, all hell breaks loose. Anyway, well, we'll see. I mean, but you know she's going to do it again. You absolutely know it. Uh, Charlie Chops, Charlie, Charlie Chops fights a crime with a face hurt. Huh? Says freestanding elements, oh no, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm with you, Charlie Chops, I'm, I'm, I'm violently against them, violently against them. Look, this, is, this, this is turning into a rather lovely little build. Is it not? Um, ba -bum, ba -dum, yep, no, okay. Oh, this is look. This, this bit's good now. Uh, Stan's mum, thank you, Emma, for your Affleck welcome. You're welcome. I am somewhat behind at the moment due to self-isolation that leaves myself and my other half in constant company. She's put constant in caps. I can highly recommend the Brick Bank. It had some features that you are going to absolutely love. Well, hello to you. Look, I've I've got the um, I've I've got myself the instruction book. So we're going to do. We are going to do that uh, down the line. So that's good. Um, oh, now let's be very, 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 very careful as I announce who is, who is uh, here next. Let's just be very careful. It's nondescript hum. Thank you. Now, 
Nondescript says, I can't deny that a Harry Potter Grand Emporium. I think we should all start referring to it as the grander, the grander Emporium because that is what it is going to be. The theme must have so many great pieces to use for a shop. Coming second to that idea is no disgrace at all. Well, I have got a suggestion because obviously the grander Emporium is going to have many levels and I think we could have a superhero level. I think that's perfectly acceptable. Then Nondescript Hum says, uh, could you potentially do both as interchangeable sets? Yes, that would depend on how much you may have tweaked the building itself to suit the theme, of course. And you might remember yesterday uh, that uh, Nondescript uh, made reference to a dark period and I inquired about this. So a person's dark period, Nondescript says, is indeed the time away from Lego. Let's all pause for a moment. Oh boy. I'd guess the majority of Affles, uh, adult fans of Lego, for those of you uh, who don't know, at the moment were big Lego fans as kids and then times change in early adult life took over. Wouldn't be surprised if it's a joke about rediscovering the light. <laughs> uh, yes, very good. Um, then, of course, there is a small comment. Uh, read nondescript. <coughs> the question is, uh, having said it once, will it stick in your head like a terrible but catchy song? Oh, I, I sincerely hope not. Let's, let's just say that. Um, do say if a name change should be considered to make life e easier for you. Absolutely not, nondescript hum. Absolutely not. That's it. You're in the gang now. Your nondescript hum that we all remember I mispronounced once and it was a terrible situation. Hang on. This doesn't look right. Oh no, it does. It is right. It is right. Little Sue. Little Sue. Um, uh, can I ask a question? Yes, you can, Little Sue. Could, could it? Could it be static charge between the plastic table and plastic pieces which is making your pieces shoot off and not want to sit next to each other? <gasps> Little Sue, have, have you solved the problem? Little Sue! Oh! Little Sue, that might be it! That might be it. Pink Lady says, just what I was going to suggest, Sue. And then Bevis comes in. No. Magnetic ghost cats, for sure. Mm. <laughs> okay, well, all right, we'll say it. The The table has magne magnetic ghost cats. Uh, it's official. And that concludes Club Business. Right then, shall we finish this bit? There's hardly anything left on here. Wait. Okay. Just had a small minor panic. Not enough to declare, of course. Oh, look, look, Bevis, little light. That's nice. Isn't this a nice little space? I'm loving this already. Has this got a name? No, it doesn't seem to have a name other than three and one and number three one zero nine seven. Hmm. Hmm. I'm feeling all uh, uh, slightly excited about the Grander Emporium, aren't you? We all are. We're all feeling a little bit thrilled about it. Mind you, we, we, we might have to wait a while because I, I suddenly thought today that um, 
if I'm going to have to order bits and bobs, um, I will be entirely dependent on, on whether there's, there are still Lego deliveries being made. So um, we may have to prepare ourselves for that. Do, do, do. Why is why is that? Oh, all right. What's happening here? Okay. Right, right. Yep. Then what? I think you're right, little Sue. I think we should always do club business of the of the last build on the next day of the of the first build. You're entirely correct. Thank you. I I knew it was a good idea. Yeah, you're full of them. You're full of good ideas. Yeah, thanks. Oh, by the way, little Sue, um, your minifigure, which was uh supposed to be coming to you yesterday um is not hang on oh no that goes there that goes there it's not quite coming to you because uh, there was a problem at the post office yesterday however uh, I do believe a second attempt is being made today. Her indoors is is posting it for, for me. You're getting it from her indoors. The crumbs. Oh, God, oh, that's amazing. Yes, I know. I know. Mind you, her indoors needs things to do, so you're you're, you're helping her out, really. I'm really glad. Yeah. Yeah, you're helping her out giving her things to do. I mean, if any of the rest of you want to give her things to do, then please feel free. <laughs> I'm sure she'll be delighted. <laughs> if I just say to you, little Sue, that her indoors <laughs> looked at the envelope that is addressed to little Sue and she just went, who is little Sue? <laughs> and then I had to explain. <laughs> Had to explain it. Yeah, she's this. Um, yeah, I don't know. I've ne no, I don't. I've never met her. No, no, right. But you're sending her a minifigure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what's happening. Yeah, and she's she's what? Well, that's her name, little. So yes, that's her name. Yes. Yeah, her name's little. Well, she's not got a real name. No, no, that's her name. She's called Little Sue. She's just little, and, and she's called Sue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh no! I've missed a bit. Ganache. Ganache. There we go. Voila. That's fixed that. Hang on there. Yep, very little to go now. Not quite sure how long today's build has been because of all the stopping and the starting.
Harlan. I guess we're going to need to remember these all these little elements and, uh, when we come to do um, take it apart and, and and build the next alternative, so that we can decide which was our favourite combination. This lovely light. Nice, effective, very pleasant. Hydrant. love this color. I think it's called pearl gold. It's really nice. I like it. I think it's my, fa it's my favorite of all the colors in Lego. It's got a lovely sheen. Patina. Would you call that a patina? Pink lady will tell us. Oh look, it's a little sign. Oh look, isn't that lovely? Oh, I'm giving that a round of applause. Oh, that's lovely. Really like that. Coming back here. Source pumps. That's great, isn't it? Tell you what I'm intrigued by. When 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 did that when did that happen? Gang, when did that happen? When did that happen? What the heck and who? When did that happen? This is mysterious. Very, very mysterious. Very, very, very mysterious. Oh. Oh. Okay. They went there. They're going in here. Right, that's that panic over. Welcome to my panic. Thank you for coming to it. La 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 la. It was really great. That's it. That's it for today. So we have um, uh, this person who uh, I'm leaving it up to you to decide. I will repeat. Man uh, with goatee who's been thrown out of his apartment by his wife or woman who eats chocolate very dirtily. That's up to you. You get to decide. You can choose a delightful uh, little hot dog stand. Absolutely lovely. And an equally delightful little uh, coffee shop. So there we go. We're off. We're up and running. Um, and I'll see you tomorrow.